What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking. I need that food review. And what are we going to be trying today, John? Today we're continuing on with chicken sandwich. We were a little disappointed with our last chicken sandwich review. Yeah, that was a little disappointing. But as we mentioned, Wendy's, I think I mentioned this maybe in the first one when we did the um, the first chicken sandwich, which was the church's chicken sandwich, that Wendy's was going to have one. They were going to enter the wars. I actually, I think I saw a commercial for it that they were going to actually clean up. They were actually cleaning up. Oh, I don't know the exact word. It, it was, they were taking like their original chicken sandwich and they were revamping it, which kind of seemed like, I don't know, like kind of like you're not really doing anything new, but we're going to find out, you know, it seemed like kind of the easy way out in the chicken sandwich department. Let's see what they're, uh, they're advertising, what it's going to, what their sandwich is going to look what like. What it's going to look like. That's pretty. That is a pretty sandwich. They're showing that's. That's what their chicken sandwich is going to look like. This is what we have. So... Cut in half. Not terribly far off. I mean... Not, you know, it came wrapped up all tight and pretty, so I'm not expecting it to look like a professional photographer. And that chicken patty actually picture. looks pretty good. When we're looking at this, you know, not that we're wanting to compare reviews, but based off our previous, the spicy chicken one, we're uh, at Whataburger, this actually looks like a real chicken patty you know we debated on that one was it, it you know it it looked better than like the real cheap process but this one actually looks like yeah, a this real... looks more like a solid piece of meat i don't know it's still kind of if you really look closely to it it, it could no it kind of i don't know well and one of the reasons why we are kind of going back to the whataburger chicken sandwich was this is the exact same price $5.29, $5.74 out the door. Exactly the same price. And overall, so far, this has a better this has a better look to it. More like real chicken. Again, Although my tomatoes tore up on here too. Is it? My tomatoes all tore up. I mean, that's just like, look at that tomato. It's just like, there's nothing there. We just got this sandwich. Why? We just bought this sandwich. Why would the tomato? It's just like a soggy mess. Overall, again, this the chicken sandwich starting over $5 just seems pricey. Everything went up in Arizona. The minimum wage went up here, so everything is expensive, but it just seems like, are we buying cheaper produce now, too, or what? That that The, the tomatoes just, like, disintegrate. I don't, I don't know why it would just... I don't know. Same thing on the... Whataburger and Wendy's. Are you guys selling each other produce? Yeah. They're getting it from the same guy. Their, their lettuce is a little, a little bit higher quality, I would say. Not... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't... Look at... It's like it's just it's just all wilted and it just seems old i've i mean i don't i've made sandwiches before the the this is old this is just not fresh maybe that's why i always end up ordering it plain because everyone's like you don't like it i'm like it would probably be better without it maybe that's why everyone else just puts a pickle on it keep it simple yeah i do like dill pickles i don't like them on my sandwiches though i I know people are gonna get on me. I, I'd rather have a sweet pickle. If we go to uh, real quick the Wendy's menu, so this is their they it's still called their classic chicken sandwich, but I guess they've revamped. Oh. They revamped, I guess their classic chicken sandwich. So it says it's a juicy, lightly breaded, crispy chicken breast with crunchy lettuce. Eh, not so much there. Crunchy Tom lettuce. Tomato. What's this mayo. tomato? Cool crisp tomato too, or what? Just says tomato, mayo. And the perfect, and the perfect pickles, all on a toasted bun. It's a flawless blend of nostalgia and excitement, kind of like your all-time favorite song, only better because you can eat it. I don't know about that. Hmm. So that's their description on their menu. Like I said, apparently they've just revamped their classic chicken sandwich. So this. It's it's still advertised as new, but I guess they already had a classic chicken sandwich on their menu, but they revamped it, and they're saying it's comparable to those flagship. If we, is that what we can call them? The flagship. The, uh, yeah, the chicken. The Chick Fil A and the Popeyes. The Chick Fil A and the Popeyes are like the the flagship shoes. It's like a, it's like Apple and uh, Android. It's the two. Apple and Samsung. That's what I meant. Yeah. I, I, Apple and Samsung, the two big uh, competitors. Did we say Apple first, though? Because, like, you know, everyone's going to be like, oh, they must be Apple guys. Are we Apple guys? No, we're definitely not. <laughs> I can't afford it. Like, So, 
I'm going to go ahead and let uh, Joe go ahead and get in on that first. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I bit that soggy tomato last time. It wasn't good. I don't want to do it again. Let Joe get in on that review there. Wendy's was one of my favorites growing up. I loved their quarter pound double stack. That was like my sandwich. And then it seems like the sandwich is like now a slider and the price is like went up. But I still love the quarter pound double stack, but... I don't know about this sandwich. This chicken sandwich is kind of scaring me. The only saving grace that we're thinking possibly for this chicken sandwich is it, it looks like an actual, the chicken filet itself It does itself look like a looks, solid piece of meat, but looks this, better. uh, here goes. Mmm. That was a, that was a big bite for, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this, Joey. Hey, go all in. You're going to eat it, eat it. Is this spicy or no? No, no spicy. Um, on my presentation, uh, I'm gonna give it a 1.5. That garnish and stuff. We just bought this. It's not. It hasn't sat out. It hasn't been in our fridge all week. We just we just got this sandwich. It just creates like a real mush with the garnish, the the lettuce and the tomatoes. Just real soggy. That's that just throws me off. I like I like tomatoes and I like lettuce, but I hate I can't stand it when it's soggy and it's just it's just mush. And then the bun, though, and the chicken is good. I like it. It's not bad. It's not. It's definitely not the best sandwich I've ever had. But take off the lettuce, tomato. the lettuce and tomato. Is there pickle on there too? I think there was. It's like a ma it's like mashed in there. I'm not sure what that is. If it's just lettuce or what. It's, everything's like mush. So if you took all that off, I'd probably give this one maybe a 2.6, a little bit, a little bit more, but uh, a little bit more than uh, the Whataburger one. Yeah, I'm going to give it all overall a 2.6. All right, let me go in for my bite. With that one bite, I'll be honest, this is this is a better chicken sandwich than we had the last time. I was super excited last time with Whataburger because of the spicy chicken sandwich because I, I like spicy. And I actually gave it like a, a little bit higher of a grade because of the spicy. But overall, this is a better quality chicken sandwich. It's the price is still high the, though. That's that's it. That's where they're gonna get dinged hard with me is the price. Because um, still, I know this is John's turn, but still, Church's chicken is only three ninety nine. Yeah, it, and theirs is still higher quality than oh, this. Oh, well, much much higher quality. This feels like they advertise it as chicken breast and actually tastes like chicken breast. It has the texture of not being processed, like been ground a bunch of chicken, different chicken ground up and put back together. So it's getting a higher score there from me. Again, I don't like the garnish to begin with, and then it's just a sloppy mess of lettuce, tomato, and pickle. And then I like mayo on a sandwich, and this is just way too much. Yeah, mayo. it's like I, I usually put a lot of mayo on my sandwich, and um, this is a little heavy for me. So I would give it. It's 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 below a three. I give it a two point seven. It had a good taste, chicken fillet itself. Had a good taste to it. I liked it. Presentation-wise, it was lacking. It was a mess. It was uh, a mess. You can go to Popeyes, and this is this is how it is in my book for chicken. Now you can do whatever you want. I I mean, it doesn't bother me. I'm just telling you, don't get upset. My number one is Chick Fil A. My second is Popeyes, and then Churches. Wendy's and Whataburger are way, way higher in price. In price. Yeah, way higher in price and. That's the thing. Like like we said, the other ones keep it simple. It's just like they put a little pickle on there and maybe some mayo and they call it a day. And I honestly think if they did that with these with this sandwich, it would be a big upgrade. It's The garnish is a mess. Yeah, and it's like I almost want to try it. Can you just put some pickles and mayo on it for me and we'll, we'll do it like that? But that's... I mean, this is how they're making their sandwich. Yeah, so. this is how they're advertising it, so that's how we got it. If you want to try it, get out there and try it. I'm not overly disappointed now. No, the, it's it, like, it, the price thing is just a big one. It's just the price was, it was, it was high. The price is high. Minimum wage did go up to, what was it, $12 in, uh, yeah. in 2019, I think it went up to $12 an hour. So a lot of the fast food restaurants are, you know, they have to make up the difference and they're charging a lot more. In in the world of chicken sandwiches where you've got... An Better, hour, uh, higher quality ones for cheaper prices. For cheaper prices, yeah. It's just, it's not holding we're up. We're just so. going to have to give it a little lower rating, but... Overall, if you want to try it, get out there. It's You won't you won't be overly disappointed. Um, you, you might love it. Yeah. And I would, if this was cheaper, if both these sandwiches were cheaper... I would probably order them again with just probably mayo on them. Yeah. I wouldn't get the garnish. If it was a cheaper sandwich, it would 
it would have moved up in the in the but rankings. But if I'm gonna go in, I'm probably just gonna look for something cheaper on the menu because yeah. there's other stuff I like at both restaurants that's cheaper. Yeah, price yeah. versus taste, and this is where we came out. Will so. I eat at Wendy's again? Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Anyways, that's our review of the Wendy's classic chicken sandwich. So remember, it's always better when you review it yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell. Also, check out our uh, Amazon affiliate links um, down below. Check out some of the stuff we use, our camera equipment. A few people were asking. Thank you. We appreciate it.